Greetings, friends! Or should I say Earthlings? Because we are all on Earth, right? Except for my special guest today, ESA astronaut Samantha Christopher Ruddy, who's up in space right now! I mean, can you believe it? So cool, right? In case you missed my vlog about her, Samantha Cristoforetti is an amazing engineer, pilot, and astronaut. And I can't believe we get to talk to her from the ISS, the International Space Station, actually in space. She has kindly agreed to take a few minutes out of her very important duties and experiments to answer some questions. I'm so nervous. Okay, <sighs> hi, Samantha. It's really great to meet you. Thank you for doing this. Okay, here are some questions for my friends and I. What is your favorite thing to do in space? My favorite thing is floating, be weightless. I can even do flips, look. I love floating. I also love to see how things float. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That is so awesome. Why did you decide to become an astronaut? Well, growing up, I was fascinated by the night sky and the idea of flying to space and the sense of adventure and exploration. And then I became interested in science and technology. And then I really loved flying. I became a pilot. And being an astronaut kind of brings all those passions and interests of me together. So inspiring. What experiments are you doing right now? Well, the space station is one big laboratory, so we do a lot of experiments. For example, in a nearby module, we're even growing plants right now. But let's just look around. What is around here? So those are called astro bees. They're little flying robots. And sometimes they undock from the little docking station and they start flying through station. And then an experiment that's an experiment to learn about autonomous navigation of robots and how we can work together with them to get tasks done. How cool is that? What happens when you get sick in space? Who takes care of you? Well, I hope I do not get sick. Uh, see, up here you cannot like catch cold because there is nobody who can pass onto you the cold virus. So we made sure that when we come up here, we have not been exposed to any contagious illnesses for a couple of weeks before flight. But then of course, something may happen to you. You might get hurt, for example. And in that case, what we do is like, we call our flight surgeons on the ground. We talk to them about what's going on and they will give us guidance. We all have some training in medical techniques. And we also have a little pharmacy on board with a bunch of, um, medicines and, and medical tools to help us cope with little medical issues. I never would have thought of that. How do you deal with missing your family when you're in space? Fortunately, I can talk to them. Every day, I can give them a call on a, something that works like a phone. I dial their phone number and their phone rings on the ground. And then once a week, usually on Sundays, we can actually have a video call so we can see each other for an entire hour and so I can see them play and talk to them. I love that. What kind of things do you eat when you are in a space station? Well, we have a pretty big uh, stock of food uh, and it's not bad at all. Some of it comes in pouches like this. It's basically ready to eat. We put it in the oven, we heat it up and then it's ready to eat. For example, this is a pouch of tomatoes and eggplant. We also have a bunch of food that comes in this form. This is dehydrated. So all the water was taken away from the food and it's really, really dry. So you don't want to eat it like that. So before you consume it, you actually have to add back water and wait a little bit so that it, you know, it becomes not like normal food again. So this, for example, is Caribbean chicken. Uh, we also have veggies. Veggies are really good for you. This, for example, is spicy green beans. And this is before rehydration. And I also went ahead and rehydrated a package for you. So you can see, you know, after rehydration, it looks like, you know, normal veggies. And then some of the food just looks like it would on the ground. Oh, they float it out. Here I have some of my favorite snacks are macadamia nuts. Mm -hmm. Really yummy and healthy for you. I did not know that. Did you know that? Wow, 
this has been such an honor. It's such a pleasure. Thank you, Isa Astronaut Samantha Christopher Reddy, for doing what you do, inspiring all of us to reach for the stars. Peace. <laughs>